That increased heat is being felt all across the Corn Belt, as you just saw, and an area touching southern Minnesota. Our Frankie McLister learned that corn stalks themselves are fueling the heat and humidity. Corn sweat, in the technical term, the scientific term, is evapotranspiration. Caleb Grunksy, a meteorologist for the National Weather Service, says you and I aren't the only ones who sweat. In the mid to late summer, as the corn is maturing, um, the stalks want to stay cool just like we do. Sweat by sweat, stalk by stalk. They draw moisture up from the roots and sweat it out. And as that corn sweats out, it evaporates in the air and increases, and increases the moisture content in the air. A climatologist from Iowa State told CBS News it's a process that can add up to 10 degrees to the feels like temp. This map shows the U.S. Corn Belt, which is a region historically dominating the crop's production, which our state's a part of. The entire zone is experiencing extreme heat this week, which can add to the dew point already forecasted. The forecast like this, we still feel really humid, just not have that extra little help to make it feel almost miserable. What areas are we talking about? Are we talking the whole state of Minnesota, Wisconsin, too? Um, the worst will be in southern and like central Minnesota into, into western Minnesota. Where the majority of our corn can be found, Minnesota Corn Growers Association says last year, roughly 16% of the state's total land area was planted with the crop and were the fourth largest exporter of corn in the country. There's a lot of corn in the, the upper Midwest. Sweating it out too this weekend. Oh, don't be outside for a, an extended period of time. Frankie McLister, WCCO News. Evapotranspiration happens every summer. The NWS says it ends once corn stops maturing.